Hey everyone, so yesterday we talked about the red shouldered hawk. Today we're going to talk about the red tailed hawk. Uh, so, red tailed hawks are common all over the place around here. Probably the most common hawk that we have here in Alabama. And we're going to learn more about them today and probably tomorrow also. Now, this is one of our red tailed hawks. We've actually got two red tailed hawks out here at the Southeastern Raptor Center. This one is our female. For the most part, in raptors, the males and the females look the same. We talked about the barn owl, that's one of the exceptions, but usually the males and females look the same. The only ways you can tell the difference between the two of them are you can either wait to see who lays an egg, or you could do a DNA test. A DNA test is a lot quicker, that's what we use out here, so most of our birds out here have been DNA tested. Now, one of the other things you can look for, though, is that usually in the raptors, the females are about 30% larger than the males. And so I know that this one is larger than our male. I can tell just by looking at her even that we would assume she's a female. But it's hard to say for sure. You can have some really big males. You can have some small females. And so most of our birds are DNA tested just to confirm uh, their gender. Now this is a fairly average looking red-tailed hawk. Uh, some of them are a lot darker on their chest. Some of them are a lot lighter on their chest. And then not all of them even have that red tail. And so uh, juveniles, they've got that red tail after they turn a year old. Before they're a year old, they have a brown striped tail. And so just by looking at this bird, I can tell that she's at least a year old. Could be a year and a half, could be 20 years old. There's no way to tell just by looking at them uh, once they grow in that red tail. Now this one actually came to us a few years ago. Uh, so I think she's around five or six years old right now. I'll check and put it in uh, the notes on this video when we post it. Uh, but she's fairly young. They can live to be about 20 or 25 years old in captivity. Now you can see she's kind of lifted up one leg. She's kind of tucked it in. Now she's going to put it back down. Uh, but that means she's comfortable. You know, when you look at the flamingos in the zoo, they've got one leg raised. That's how they rest one side of their body. These birds really don't really ever lay down. You're never going to see them really laying down on the ground. Flamingos, you might, but raptors, you really won't see that happen. And so how they rest one side of their body is they pull up that leg and they rest that side of their body. Now, uh, this one, like I said, she's the female, so she's about 30% larger. Uh, she weighs in at, I think I just got a weight on her at about 1,600 grams. Uh, I always forget the weight, so... I don't remember her exact weight, but somewhere around 1,600 grams is, I think, what she was weighing in at. Now, we get calls all the time from professors on campus telling us that they've got this five-foot-tall eagle outside their office window. It's the most incredible, beautiful thing they've ever seen. We have to come look at it. Well, we're busy people, so we say, send us a picture. Every time they send us a picture, it's nowhere close to five feet tall, it's not an eagle, it's just a common red-tailed hawk. Like I said, these birds are everywhere. If you haven't seen a red-tailed hawk recently, you need to stop looking down at the ground and start looking up at the sky when you're outside because these birds are all over the place. They love campus because there's plenty of big tall trees for them to stand in and then there's plenty of chipmunks roaming, roaming around on campus that they can catch and eat. And so these birds are all over campus. Not an eagle though, a red-tailed hawk. Now red-tailed hawks have a very distinct scream, a very distinct call. Uh, Again, I don't make a very good one of it. I'm not even going to try. We'll add it in a post though, uh, because that noise that you hear when they show eagles on movies or TV shows, that's actually a red-tailed hawk. Eagles really don't sound like that. Red-tailed hawks have that really impressive scream. And so that's what they're going to use in the videos and uh, TV shows when they show an eagle, because I guess they think it sounds a lot cooler than uh, what eagles really sound like. But that's actually going to be coming from the red-tailed hawks. So you can learn that call, you can find them. Usually it's a territorial thing. And so usually when they're making that noise, they're basically saying, you know, if there's another red-tailed hawk in the area, you need to leave my territory, go find your own area. These birds are gonna be eating lots of rats. That's their main food that they're gonna be catching, eating rats, chipmunks, squirrels, things like that. And like I said, that's why they love to live on campus because there's plenty of those chipmunks getting into those garbage cans and the dropping uh, or eating those acorns that are being dropped by the oak trees on campus all day long. And so these birds are all over the place. The red-tailed 
hawk. They've got that sharply hooked beak that they use to tear their food with. Uh, excellent eyesight, which we'll talk about more tomorrow. And then they've got those really strong talons. This bird, like I said, she doesn't weigh that much, but she is incredibly strong. And so they're all over the place around here. Keep your eyes out for them, and hopefully you'll see some of these red-tailed hawks uh, throughout your neighborhoods or just when you're out driving around. So that was our female red-tailed hawk. Her name is Red. We got really creative with that one. Um, tomorrow we're going to continue talking about red-tailed hawks. We're going to show you our male red-tailed hawk, though, and keep talking about them. Thanks for tuning in. War Eagle.